Hello, everyone. I'm Creative Venus. Look at these lovely cats moving across the screen. This is made using a morph transition, a fantastic way to make your PowerPoint presentations more engaging. It's not just a technique, it's a trick you can apply to any presentation or design. If you observe closely, there are four main layers, the background, two cat layers, one with a blurred background and one with the active cats, and the content layer. Let's learn how to create this style. To begin, you should first insert a background with a depth effect. Once that's in place, you can introduce the characters of your choice. In my case, I've added cats to enhance the video's appeal. The choice of characters really depends on your presentation's content. I'm utilizing the stock graphics provided with PowerPoint in the Office 365 version, where you can discover a wide array of intriguing graphics. I plan to utilize the complete character set to encompass various emotions. Simply pick the cats or any other graphic set that suits your needs, and then insert them. Excellent, now that you have the cats on the screen, the next step is to adjust their size to fit them onto the slide. My goal is to evenly distribute these cats across the slide area. This approach will work wonders when applying the morph transition effect. To achieve this, divide the cats into 4 to 5 segments and scatter them randomly. However, ensure that they remain in distinct groups. Each group will move independently during the morph transition creating a visually stunning effect. Once you've scattered the cats, resize them randomly. Make some cats larger and others smaller. This variation will add a natural and appealing touch to the arrangement. Fantastic! Now, let's regroup all these sets and distribute them evenly if you feel there's some space to spare. If needed, you can make additional copies of these sets to ensure the slide appears well balanced. Once you're content with the arrangement, create a duplicate of all the sets and position them away from the slide area. These will serve as a top layer later on. As for the current sets, cut them and then paste them as images. Why, you ask? Well, because we want to apply a blur effect to them. I trust that everything has been presented in a clear and easily comprehensible manner up to this point. If you find the content enjoyable, I kindly encourage you to subscribe and share your feedback. Now, I'm converting all the sets into images because applying a blur effect to images is simpler than doing so with graphics, and this trick works well. So, how do you blur these images? It's a straightforward process. Simply select all the sets on the slide, head to the image properties, and in the final panel, locate the sharpness option. Slide the sharpness adjustment to the left, and your images will be smoothly blurred. The procedure involves a repetitive task of applying the sharpness effect individually to each of the sets. This process is aimed at crafting a depth effect. When the upper layers of the sets, which are presently situated on the right side of the slide area, transition over these blurred sets, it will result in an incredible animation experience. As you can observe, I've positioned the upper layer of sets on the slide. Next, make a duplicate of this slide, and in the new slide, shift the position of everything, whether it's in the top layer or the bottom layer. This is the essence of how morph transition functions in PowerPoint. Feel free to explore my earlier videos on morph transitions for a more in-depth understanding. Both slides are now configured. Proceed to design and incorporate your content onto the slide. Position the content in between the top and bottom layers of the blurred cats. This arrangement will enhance the animation, as the cats will appear to move above the text, producing a captivating effect during the slideshow presentation. Everything is now in place, and I'm making some final refinements. Ensure that the sets are organized into separate groups rather than one large group, as this is essential for the morph transition to function correctly. Additionally, remember to apply the transition effect through the Transitions menu at the top. If you found this content helpful and engaging, please consider subscribing and sharing it with your friends. Now, let's examine the final result. The slideshow mode showcases this in a truly stunning manner. If you enjoy what you've seen, please consider subscribing to our channel and becoming a member to support us. You can also access the template through the Google Drive link provided in the description. I'll be back with another intriguing concept in our next video. Looking forward to seeing you then.